So today we're back to work on our heirloom kindling box. This is always one of my favorite parts is taking the clamps off, see what we got, see how things turned out. Plus we need to, we need to liberate our clamps here so we can laminate the other boards. I do have a bit of a hodgepodge of clamps, but boy, you take them where you can get them. Uh, a couple of you asked about those big orange ones. Where did I get those? Those are those are made by Jor I believe Jorgensen, Scandinavian company, and, and they're really great clamps. And these green ones here are very and clever indeed because they uh, they come at they, they you just use them on a piece of pipe. They come uh, they're a pretty affordable way to go. They come just the two pieces here, and then you go to Home Depot or wherever and you buy that section of pipe, whatever length you want. These here are four footers, I think, and that seems to be pretty good, but these are good ways to go too. These are made by, I think several companies make these. They've been around a long time. These, these ones belong to my dad and he gave them to me years ago. So looks pretty good. Look at this old timer here. I don't know where that came from. Long Island City, New York, USA, Wel Welzer Clamp Company. Ah, oh, that's a good clamp right there. Hard to buy clamp that good. Built to last. Here, nice machining. I have no complaints at all. My strongest clamps for sure. That's the ones you, you go to for, oh, for the heavy lifting. All right, before we start planing, let's uh, get these guys glued up here real quick and let them dry overnight. We got plenty of work to do while these set up. Tomorrow, we have something very different in store. Won't be back in the wood shop. Mrs. W and I are about to start embark on a very ambitious project. And we'll be sharing more about that tomorrow. So someone left a comment yesterday of yesterday's video that uh, getting after me for being wasteful with the glue. <laughs> I just about have enough comments for the the question and answer video. I've been saving them up. They not they don't come don't come in as frequently as they used to. I have had to work pretty hard to collect them. Don't gloom the wrong way there. Oh, that looks good. So I'm a little anxious about getting my firewood in. I've got my dry wood is still out and it's rained on it for a day. We've been gone. I would have should have had it in by now, but we were gone so. And then the spot where I want to bring it into has got a bunch of other stuff in it that we've been kind of putting off to take into the dump. So, or the, excuse me, the transfer station. Yes, there aren't dumps anymore. The transfer station. So we'll do that tomorrow. We'll take the, the family's going to go down there and get rid of that. And then we'll bring our firewood in. And that'll feel good. I don't like having that out there getting wet. So have you guys been using the, has any of you signed up for the new um, YouTube Red? The $10 a month or $120 a year service for having your fees or your uh, advertisement removed? I have, um, I don't know if I'll keep it or not. I didn't know, I didn't, I was, I actually said that when I first signed up for it, because I had that first month as, as a free trial month. I thought, well, I'll check it out, see what it's all about, but uh, I'm not gonna pay for it. But I'll tell you what, after, after using it, what I have really enjoyed about it, I didn't realize how annoying the ads were until they were gone. To be able to watch uh, videos and all that stuff without those pre-roll ads on them, is, it's really wonderful. But th th something that surprised me that, that I liked that I didn't think I would like is the music service. The music service is wonderful. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know a lot about those music services. I mean, I've used, used Pandora a little bit, but I never paid for it. I just had the free one. And so I'd have to listen to those horrible ads. And so I guess that kind of put me off. Um, but the Man, I've really enjoyed that. Uh, the way that whoever it is that puts together the stations, 
It makes the music selections and the ease of use, the way you can listen to something over again if you like, or you can save it to a, um, a playlist. Or I, I don't even know all the, half the stuff that it does, but it sure seems easy to use, and I've used it almost every day since I've had it. I really like it. I wonder if, if it's going to fly, if the YouTube Red thing is going to fly, if people are going to pay for that that stuff. I just don't know. I, I know I will. Um, when the, when the free trial is over, I am going to, uh, I'll definitely continue to stay signed up for it. I, I, I don't think I could go back. I don't think you could go back after having the freedom from the, all those ads. It'd just be hard to do. So we've got the, got all that stuff glued up. We got use we can use the other half of our bench here and we can start doing the fun stuff here and see. I'm kind of uh, excited to see how these are gonna turn out. You know, this is such a this is a perfect example why I'm so happy to be to that I was able to put two vices on here because I've got that one tied up over there. Allows me to continue to work on another project while still using the bench. I have to say this is a it's a little tight there. This bench uh, was a Paul Sellers design. I had uh, a, a new subscriber ask me where I bought it uh, this morning. And I forget, sometimes uh, it seems like I, I don't want to be redundant going over the same things, but, but sometimes I forget that we add, we can add pretty typical 500 subscribers a day as people who haven't seen any of the old stuff. So it's not a, not a dumb question at all. So if you are a new subscriber, the dog system is just a series of pegs and holes that uh, are, allow you to hold your work in place without any clamps. So the whole top of it is all free. You can work on it. We're going to have to hand, oh, that's not going to be very nice. There's a big knot right in the middle. Boy, I didn't even see that. That's things to look for when you're putting boards together, but too late now. But so we can uh, start planing the stuff down. I'll show you this really quick. These vices have a little pawl on them that sticks up there. You don't want it sticking up above or you'll run into it with your irons, but you want to stick it up there just so it's, it'll hold securely, but it's out of the way. And then that allows you to, to really hold your work securely. So I'm going to start off with a number four plane. Number four plane seems to be just the go-to plane. It's just the perfect size. It might be a little bit small for this. We'll get started and see. I, like we can go up to a, I think, I don't know if it's a five and a half or a six I have, but I typically, I really enjoy this size. It just seems to be fit all the sweet spots. So ballastol, I keep, as you know, keep it in a rag in here so it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you don't waste it. I just put a little in there once in a while. That way it's, it's, you use all of it, soak it in there. And this is so good for your tools because your hands, you know, whenever I touch these chisels, they, they rust, they start to rust if I don't co coat them. All I do is just hit that a couple times and put it away and it's good. Same way with my planes, you know, you got all that exposed metal on there. And not only that, but having that ballastol on there really helps to lubricate it across the wood. I'll just leave it in this little can and just leave it open here and reach in there periodically and, and uh, touch that up a little bit. But that, well, that slides, that slides nice. So I believe I had this set pretty, pretty shallow. Yeah, for, for some previous work. We got a big, heavy, a lot of material to remove here. So we'll take that down there. Just a, boy, a little goes a long ways on these things. Yeah, that's much more aggressive. You can see. I got a really bad knot right there. That's gonna give me trouble. But the blade is sharp and it seems to be taking nice slices off of it. So just as I feared, that knot is pretty hard on the planer blade, so we're gonna need to touch this up, sharpen these up, this iron up just a bit. I really do love those diamond stones. Now's the time when the chickens come home to roost because it used to be before I would, sometimes I would you know, go longer than I should in between sharpenings because it was such a hassle dealing with all of the, the waterproof paper and such. 
but now you know they're all they're just they're ready and waiting for you you don't have to mess around and cut sheets and all of that nonsense it just uh takes a job that used to be something that I dreaded is just it turned it into something that I actually really enjoy now. I'm finding you don't always need to go through the whole process, you know, from the coarse to the, to the fine to the super fine. If you stay on top of it, it, uh, it doesn't take very much, but just, just to, to touch it up a little bit. Flatten up that bottom. It's, not that it really needs flattening, more that it just has just got a bunch of junk on there. That really is all that it takes if you keep them sharp like that, apart from we'll finish it off on the leather. I usually clamp this into my vise, but I've got my vise, actually both of them tied up right now. So this is a piece of a rawhide leather and then uh, we we'll use this jeweler's rouge here, which is a really, I don't know how many, what the grit is, but it's something that's super, super fine, like some crazy thing, 20,000, 60,000, or what, maybe more, I don't know. But it's really fine. It's a polishing compound, kind of like a big piece of lipstick. And what we'll do is, is we'll drag this backwards here with a lot of pressure, back with the bevel down. And I do this about 50 times. So we all get to enjoy the macro feature of my new lens there. That's a nice close up there, isn't it? Nice and crystal clear. There you can see, look at the polish on that. From that, uh, that leather and that jeweler's rouge. That's just so fine, so sharp. Oh man, that's a good there. Isn't that nice? I received a comment yesterday that uh, someone was telling me, we really missed the commentary at the end of the videos. How come you stopped doing that? Well, the reason why is I'm switching over to a different video editing software. I'm using Final Cut Pro, and frankly, I didn't know how to do it. So I took a moment to figure out how to do that, and so I'll be adding this into the end. So a couple things. So uh, we're about, I mentioned in the video that we're about to embark on a very ambitious project, and we're going to redo Mrs. W's kitchen. She uh, really would like to do more videos, more canning, and more homesteading type of videos, but she's always been a little embarrassed about the kitchen. It's been in such deplorable condition. It's the way it was when we moved in. So we've uh, saved up a little bit. We're going to do uh, a little bit of a makeover, and uh, we'll be sharing that with you as well. And she's, um, it's going to be much more conducive for her to for video. We'll have a little bit better lighting, a little bit better layout, and something that she's not completely ashamed of. So look forward to that. So we won't be in the wood shop today. Uh, we've got to move in our firewood. We've got kind of a family work day of prepping around the house and the garden. So we'll bring you along for that. Thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs up. I just saw the banner go by and I've also included a one of my favorite videos uh, where my sister, the Fresh Pea, have uh, had a role reversal. Uh, she came and worked with me for a day. I worked in her kitchen. I'll put over in the cards. If you don't know already, on the top right, you'll see a little icon there. If you click on that, whether you're desktop or mobile, that opens uh, my recommended videos or links that I would like you guys to go to. I'll put uh, both of those there. The Trading Places video series, we'll call it. So if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe. And we thank you for all the support. And we'll see you guys on the next video.